Okay, so what I've got here are um, these barrel connectors. This is for, you know, this is a typical component for uh, connecting power, uh, providing power to components. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to solder one up. Okay, so here is the uh, connector. There are two places that we're going to solder to. This center pin, uh, and there, I looked it up, there is no standard about whether you connect the uh, positive voltage to the center or to the outside. Uh, this goes to the center pin inside of the barrel connector, and then this connects to the, to the outside so that you, know, you have one positive, one, one negative terminal. Um, there is no standard. Uh, I decided to put the positive in the center for all these. It doesn't matter which one you pick as long as you're consistent uh, about the way that you do that. And you can also see that um, this has got a little screw uh, piece on here that so that you can you know put that through the side of a uh, housing and then attach it with the little screw piece here. So. Um, So I'm going to use my uh, helping hands here and snap that guy in just like that. Um, you can see there's a little, it's, it even makes like a little cup. Um, I also found that the, when I did this the first uh, time or two that the pin inside, uh, if I didn't take one of the, the male uh, barrel connector pieces and put it in there, that the, the pin inside might move because, uh, you know, as you solder you're applying heat and so it makes things move out of the way. All right, so here's uh, the wires um, that I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to use red as my, as my positive wire in this case. And I have uh, trimmed them a little bit. The, the black it should be uh, slightly shorter than the red. Uh, and I'm going to just attach it in like here, right? Now, I've got uh, a little piece of um, heat shrink tubing here and you have to remember to put the heat shrink tubing on because the, the heat shrink tubing will go around and make sure that we don't get any short uh, between the outer wire and the inner wire once everything happens. So um, you have to, the, the key thing you have to remember here is you have to make sure you put this piece of tubing over the positive wire right before you solder it into the center here. Now one of the things that happened with the first couple of times I did this is that the, the heat from the soldering iron actually shrank the heat shrink tubing before I had a chance to put it in place and, and so that, that caused a mess and I had to redo it a couple times. So um, just a little trick I, I, I figured out is that I can use the wire that I'm not soldering with to sort of hold that piece of heat shrink tubing back and out, out of the way. Uh, and then I can put this into place. All right, so and then get that, that wire, it just goes right down in there. Um, so I'm gonna get my solder. And one of the things I found is that the solder and the, the, the wire that I'm soldering to, um, those both get hot a lot more easily than the, uh, the barrel connect, the metal, metal on the barrel connector. So in order to get a good solder, uh, you have to keep the soldering uh, iron tip on there a little, a little while so that um, it, develops a good seal, but I want to can just melt a good deal of solder onto this connection here, and then I just hold soldering in iron in there for a few seconds until both sides get good and hot and it makes a nice good seal. Alright, so now I'm going to clean off my soldering iron, let that cool for a few seconds, and now I can release my piece of heat shrink tubing down and just fit that right over the end here. Uh, let me use my lighter shrink that over and it only takes a second or two to do that. Alright, so you can see now 
got my positive wire uh, and it is good and um, insulated off so that you know when we connect the, the black wire it won't cause a short. All right, so I'm going to roll this around now so that the this out, outer piece here uh, is is up, and I will put the. put the outer wire, the black wire, through the, the hole there and just uh, use my, my pliers here to, to sort of crimp it into place so that we get a nice good connection. for when we solder this part. Okay. All right, so now that that is kind of in place, here, let me actually Okay, so now that we've got that looking pretty good, Again, I will just melt a good bit of solder onto the connection and then I'm going to just hold it in place here until both pieces of metal have had a chance to heat up and really make a good bond. Okay, all right, again, clean off my soldering iron. Okay, so now that is connected. I'm going to use another piece of uh, heat shrink tubing here. A little bit. And cover up all of the bits here that are unprotected. Right, and again, this, this just keeps our Our wires from shorting and and holds them together a little bit better. Okay, and then finally, I'm gonna take a, a larger piece of heat shrink tubing here and put it over the barrel of the of the barrel connector. And I'm going to. It's easier if you take this out so you can kind of spin it around. And this tubing only has a two to one shrink ratio, so it won't completely shrink down over the, the one below it, but um, it gets good enough. All right, and so here you have the finished piece. We can take uh, the positive, the, the male side out, and you can see here that it kept our pin right in the middle. Uh, and this is still a little hot, but the other thing I found is that when you put this heat shrink tubing around the outside here, at least on this particular piece, it makes it um, a little bit challenging to get this um, screw piece off, um, but it's not impossible. Um, and I decided that I liked the additional stability more than I liked the ease of getting uh, this nut off.